everyone, my name is Adin. In today's video, I'm going to review the second book in the Transfer Apollo series. So, the Transfer Apollo series is about uh, Apollo, who is the god of poetry and music and the sun and a lot of many other things. So, he is kind of like this really super cool god in the Greek mythology. He's been turned into this gawky uh, teenage boy who's really sounds like an idiot through these books. He's so full of himself. He's just like, yo, I'm the best all the time. And it, the way that this book is written from the perspective of Apollo is just so funny. And it just makes this book so much better. And I love the haikus in the names of each one of the chapter. For example, to the way station, Meg Meg Caffrey eats my bread. I cry godly tears. That is a really nice haiku. Uh, that and another one that I really liked was prophecies don't mix with tofurkey and biscuits. Just give me dessert. So uh, yeah, I love all of the haikus in these books. And uh, it kind of makes sense because Apollo is the god of poetry. So he's obviously going to be really good at writing haikus. Uh, and the main plot of the Tales of Apollo series is that Apollo has to fight all of the evil rulers uh, that used to rule Rome and Greeks, Greece back in the ancient days. And uh, the first one of them in, that I talked about in the first video was Nero. And the second book has Commodus in it. And Commodus was the most bloodthirstiest, the worst emperor, the pretty much the worst emperor to ever be in Rome. He was first this uh, nice person and he actually had uh, Apollo as a friend. But once he became a king, he got swallowed by his uh, new position. So he became this really evil kind of person and he was assassinated uh, in the end. And the assassination was done by Apollo himself. Uh, he came in the form of a normal person. A normal human uh, when bad things start to happen in the world gods take the form of normal humans and come to destroy those problems that's basically what Apollo did he turned into a normal person and he came down to earth to kill Commodus because he was he used to uh, kill uh, actual human beings and sacrifice animals for uh, just the fun of seeing it and the main plot of this book is that he wants to kill Meg Meg Caffrey just for his own fun. And he also likes to name all of the people that he likes to kill because, well, he just likes to do that. There are a lot of people, there is demigods and other people like that, who uh, he has kept as prisoners so that he could kill them on the day of the naming ceremony. So uh, the naming ceremony is when he names all of the people that he's going to kill and then he kills them. So what basically happens in this book is that they find this place called the Waste Station, which is basically built over a place that used to be a railway station uh, many years ago. So now it has been turned into a place where weddings happen. and uh, the, But the Waste way Station is a place that is hidden deep inside the place, deep inside the Waste Station. So no one can see it whenever someone enters the, uh, the place. Uh, they don't see the waste station. Waste, the waste station uh, is like sort of a magical place that can only be entered if someone, if the owner of the of the waste station allows uh, the person to get into the waste station. The current guardians of the waste station are Emmy and Joe, and they have this little daughter whose name is Georgina, and she has actually been taken in by Commodus so that he could kill them. Uh, on his naming ceremony and there is this very old story of a Hemethia who turned into a hunter of Artemis after uh, after Apollo saved her from death so her father so Hemethia's father was this very evil kind of king who wanted to kill his daughters for fun and they were crying Apollo help us and then Apollo came there and he helped them and turned them into uh, minor gods but they actually decided that they wanted to become hunters of, hunters of Artemis and Apollo thought that they were very ungrateful to him uh, he turned them into a little god and, and they agreed to give up all of their god powers 
uh, in exchange for being a hunter and that is the reason why Apollo was really upset from them and uh, basically uh, they've turned into normal humans now they left the uh, hunters camp and they now are normal people that is the reason why they've aged and that is why they are much older now don't watch this part of the video if you don't want any spoilers but in the end of this book uh, Commodus actually ends up getting killed and uh, yeah that is a good ending I think that Commodus would probably come back because all of the kings in the evil triumvirate are actually gods so the kings who uh, ruled who used to rule Rome uh, have actually become very minor sort of gods so they could not die die but they can sort of die uh, so Apollo uh, was able to turn into his godly form in the end of this book uh, I don't know how that was able to happen I mean he was supposed to be a 16 year old teenager but he was apparently able to turn into uh, his godly form if a god shows that entire godly form in front of human the, the human's eyes cannot process that entire information of the structure of an entire god so they basically die and their eyes go blind and that is the reason why a commodus dies because he's in the form of a normal human when he looks at uh, apollo so that is the reason why he died and that was a pretty nice ending to this book and i'm really really looking forward to reading the next book this book had a short of uh, a, a kind of sneak peek to the next book so it had left uh, it left on a very huge cliffhanger that i'm really looking forward to reading it so yeah thanks for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to click on like button and subscribe to my channel bye